look, it's dusk again. Uh, this time, there's an HD addition to the game, which uh, improves the models and textures. But before we do that, there's also workshop support. And I have a couple of mods enabled. Let's see if we can check them out. Now, the HD pack looks awesome. We'll get to that. But this is just regular old dusk with mod support to start. And uh, let's see if we can see some of the, the new mods. Again, day one, so there's not really a whole lot, but I found two or three rather interesting ones. Holy shit. Forgot how high that jump pad went. For those of you unfamiliar with Dusk, it is a boomer retro shooter Doom clone FPS whatever you want to call it. It's good. It's really good. It's one of my favorites. And it was one of the ones that, um, probably started leading the revival a bit. So I'm looking for a specific weapon and a specific enemy before we can check out the, uh... There we go. The, uh, additions. So I figured I'd start with Endless Mode, but again, I, if this is an introduction to this game for some people, I'd be very happy with that, because this game is, like, it's on the Switch, and it's a really good Switch version. But aside from that, it's just an awesome game. It's really fun. It's got great level design, good weapons, good enemies, good game feel, the whole thing, it's the complete package. Okay, so, listen closely. <gasps> you could just barely hear it, but it's there. If you're wondering what it is exactly... Oh, right, these fucking enemies are crazy. Um, then I can... I can give you a hint. After the hurricane. Tornado, rather. Maybe... Maybe I just stay away from the tornado. So here, here's the sound. Fart with Reverb is one of the very first mods for this game in the workshop. There's also, like, support for, um, gold source maps. I'm not really sure how that works. But, uh, we'll find out. All right, now there's a specific enemy I'm looking for as well, so we'll see if the enemy spawns. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Okay, so here it is. This is made by someone called Someone in Chat, and it was made three years ago, which I'm not sure why it's now on the Dusk Workshop. Like, I thought this was a day one thing, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it, apparently it was made several years ago, so take a look at this. <laughs> Honored to be on the workshop. It's like a biblically accurate angel, too, uh, with my face. It's it's awful. Thank you for making that. So, um, here's the thing that I don't understand is, is uh, you'll see here, Dusk Penis. Um, how do I load that? Let's find out. New uh, custom levels, Dusk Penis. Here's Dusk Penis. 
Let's enter the horror. Huh. That's okay. Wow. Um. Uh, okay. Hmm. Maybe it could use a little bit of work. So, there's a launch option for the moddable version of this, and all of that is in there. There's also the HD version, which is in the, um, when you start the game up, you get to choose which one you want to check out. I'm assuming, okay, so I need to maybe enable Half-Life, Team Fortress. I mean, all of my Half-Life stuff is in here. Which is kind of weird. I mean, I don't really know why it's here. Um, randomizer mod? I mean, it's, it's, you know, counts as gold source. There's also Quake related stuff here too, which I don't think I have installed at the moment. There's the, the Vine Sauce Halloween. I don't know if that's playable in this. It might be. It fucking looks like it is. Wow. Well, now we can go back to Dusk Penis. And those are Half-Life textures. And that is, I'm supposed to um, believe, I'm led to believe that that is in fact a Dusk Penis. Can I? Two Fort Classic. It's missing some textures. It's missing a bunch of textures. How the hell does this even work? Like, this is, this is so weird. How did they... I don't know how this works. I have no idea. I mean, I'm not a scientist either, so I don't know. But yeah, there are some textures missing. Um, campaign, custom levels. Let's see. Here's an opposing force map. Might have crashed. Yeah, it crashed. Not 100% sure why these are even playable. I'm sure someone can eventually import maps from Half-Life and make them work with Dusk, like Dusk weapons and enemies. And it does look like some of them do work. Um, let's see if this works. Uh, okay, this is the, the Halloween thing from this year. That's the intro. What the hell? <gasps> Would you look at that? I am playing a Vine Sauce Gold Source map <gasps> in Dusk. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? I guess the, the trick-or-treaters... Um, ...aren't fucking around. It looks like the scientists' NPCs are, are translated into the Dusk scientists. Which is not a good thing for my health. I don't know if weapon pickups are, are also translated into dusk weapons, but this is, this is wild. This is actually really fucking crazy. There's a lot of potential here for getting old Half-Life maps into dusk.
Which brings me to... What about regular Half-Life maps? Good oh. morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. The tram is gone. This automated train is provided for the security uh, and convenience of oh, the Black God, Mesa. That's funny. Okay, that works. The, the scripting on the door works. Oh, God. This is beyond weird. If only I had Quake installed as well, which I believe I have on the Switch, but not on the PC at the moment. I'm not sure if it takes the maps from that directory specifically. Oh, look what happens, look what happens. Okay, because the, the loading zones in Half-Life are pretty quick and seamless. This game doesn't quite... It's still doing its own thing with the loading zones. Jordan Freeman. They hit hard. I should have probably lowered the difficulty for this. You know what? I will, I will. Um, whoa. Campaign, custom levels. Boot camp? Is this opposing force boot camp? Th no, this is boot camp level from Half-Life. I think it's a multiplayer level. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, boot camp. Let's check out... Yeah, weapons are translated into Dusk weapons. And this is, um... This is opposing force now. If there's a way to mod that out a bit... Oh, shit. Like, so that, you, you know, you could get the, the seamless Half-Life transitions, that would be cool. Also, still textures missing. A bunch of them. Check out a random... Oh, it's this. Oh yeah, the crossbow train. Oh, oh my god! That is really fucking funny. <laughs> Why are the frame rate so low on that monster? What the fuck? Car fight? Oh, this is when I did the Counter Strike maps with, um, with my mods. Wow, even this is here. I don't know if the vehicles are rideable. No. I don't think there's a, a Dusk vehicle ride thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's possible to go through the entire campaign. Oh my god, that just came off. Yeah, I, there's probably a lot of jank along the way. Skyboxes don't work. Oh. 
Crazy. This is this is just wacky. I'm sorry. I'm I'm spending so much time on this because it's so fucking fascinating to me. Oh, I went back. It doesn't know how to do the the loading zones properly. Campaign. Uh, check out a couple more, and then I'll we'll go to the HD pack. Uh. I don't know what this map is. I guess I never will, because it just crashed. But yeah, uh, I don't know if the mods are compatible with the HD version. Because it doesn't um, give me the option. So, maybe it's not. Christmas. I mean, this is timely. Oh yeah, sword. I don't remember what this map was. I don't know if this was specifically a vine sauce map or if this was just some random Christmas pack. All right, game crashed again. So yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff going on here that that is not quite a hundred percent functional, but it's it's really interesting. Also, that spin enemy. I don't know where that enemy is in the game. So watching that video was probably the best bet. I'm sure it was in endless mode if I just kept going, but, you know, I'm not a god gamer. I'm not a gamer. Um, well, the foothills, foothills is, are, is a fun... ...campaign. So again, the word, uh, or the letters HD might be a slight misnomer here. Kill the intruder. But, you can already see the, the detail increase easily. Sickles, the look at the enemies. The enemies are, are chunky. They actually have detail. Oh, I guess I could have used that. Pistol looks nicer. Um, let me check some graphical settings here. Frame rate cap. Let's do. Oh, there's a lot of different options for this game. Let's do 144, which is my monitor's refresh rate. Color palette. There's a lot of different um, things you can do to make the game look how you want, feel. Kill you. Is there a frame rate thing going on here? I kind of can't tell. I feel like there might be some weird frame fuckery happening, but I could be wrong. Turn V-Sync off. But yeah, the, the models look better, if you can believe it. So, I don't know, something feels a little... Like, every now and then, it's like a micro-chunk. 
I know it doesn't make any sense, what I just said. All the models look great so far. Like, definitely in the spirit of Dusk. Like, it still looks like Dusk. The models are just, like, reimagined in a more... I didn't even know that was there. Um... Just never mind that. Um, reimagined in, in a more detailed way. And again, I'm assuming the textures also have been, like, increased in, in fidelity and detail. Soap is like a one-hit kill. HD soap, mind you. I think there's, there's like an achievement related to the soap, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the textures, the, the trees, like all that shit. So yeah, all the textures. I don't know how much environmental detail has been increased in terms of like models, but... I know the, um, the enemy models and the weapon models definitely have increased in, in fidelity and, uh, and detail, as I say. A, a poly count and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I do- something is- there's like a micro chug happening. And I know I'm being very, very nitpicky. And maybe you don't even see it through the stream, or through the video. It might not even be a thing, but something feels not synced with my refresh rate, perhaps. Yeah, even here. Even with the 60 FPS limit. Let me try... Cinematic bad idea. Does that even work? That still feels like the same frame rates. Um, I don't know if the... and I did hit apply. Uh... You can even decrease the weapon size if, if it's too big. Oh wow, they're, they're tiny. Well, you can make them tiny. <laughs> yeah, the, the frame rate... I don't think the frame rate slider even works, because 30 and cinematic look exactly the same. I feel like it's stuck at a, a somewhat unstable... uncapped. I could be wrong, I'm not really the most smart person. I'm actually kind of dumb sometimes. But, um, yeah, something feels a little off. And I'm just saying this from just a critical, like, I want to just point it out. If it's annoying to watch, I apologize. That said, the bushes look like weed. I mean HD. They look HD, and I love them. The weapons look awesome. The textures look really good. The enemies look like... Well, you know what these enemies look like. They're ghosts! There's a... There are enemies down here somewhere. There's like secret enemies. This game has a lot of secrets. There are many, many secrets in this game. It's, again, 
a really easy game to get lost in. Not like get lost, like the levels aren't sprawling and confusing, I just mean it's an easy game to just want to search for every secret. I missed three of them. There's a new weapon added to the game as well. Some kind of weird claw weapon. I do love the arsenal in this game. I think it's the perfect balance of, like, you know, the standard arsenal. But even, like, the earlier weapons are still useful in a lot of situations. I like how later on you get some pretty fucking weird weapons, like that sword. Um, there's a good selection of explosives. The crossbow is a lot of fun to use. The rifle is my favorite. But yeah, I don't know if, um, again, the HD version is compatible with mods, but that would be nice because this is... I would now want to play the game this way pretty much, like, going forward. This is how I want to play the game. I want it to look like this. Heretic. Some would call me a heretic for saying so. Like that dude. Kill him. Imagine going to sleep with these freaks in the next room. Man, even the couch looks nice. So I think that confirms to me that the environmental detail has been increased. And not just the textures of the world. Like, I'm pretty sure these jump pads did not look so good in the original Dusk. played through this level like four times so I've completed this game but in like chunks like I did um, a couple I'm pretty sure I did like one or two episodes for a video or for a stream and then I played a bunch on my own I did the switch version a lot I would love to see custom campaigns for this game Gloop Swamp. I know there's a secret up here somewhere. It's like... Yeah, in there. Oh wait, is that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you gotta get up onto the horn. The corn porn.
pretty sure that was kind of a glitch, what I just did there. Not a glitch, but like, um, a cheese tactic, perhaps? Schultz did a great fucking job with the soundtrack for this game, too. Should have seen what this tractor looked like in the original. Yeah, climb them up. God, those rats. <laughs> you should, again, you should see the original model for the rats if you haven't. Wow. One of six secrets. Yeah, one of the things I love about this game, so the, the cult aspect of it is a lot of fun. You know, fits perfectly for a game like this. Um, look at the, the fucking atmosphere this game is producing. Like, it's really, really good, really well done. Even in the original, without the HD stuff, it still had, like, a really good atmosphere. I mean, this and cultic are, and well, weirdly, maybe I just like killing cult members, I don't know. But cultic is another really good atmospheric uh, retro FPS game I played earlier this year. Like, I played it uh, in its demo form, and then, you know, when it released, I think there's still more. There's like another chapter on the way, but also an excellent game of this kind. So much better than it used to, holy fuck. It actually looks like a light machine gun now. I guess that's what this would be, right? LMG?
Yeah, the original model for this was always one that I found to be particularly crustified. So I, I like this a lot. This, this reminds me of what they did with Half-Life a little bit. But so far, I, I mean, the, you know, some of the weapons change. Like in the Half-Life, um, with Blue Shift, they gave an HD pack, right? And that was a little controversial because some of the models changed pretty drastically. Like the MP5 turned into, like, an assault rifle. And, uh, some of the other weapons didn't look so good. I mean, I think the models look nice, they just changed pretty drastically what the guns were supposed to be, and it, you know, some people were not happy about that. I like most of them, but not all of them, for Half-Life. Like, I think the, um, Beretta, changing the Glock to a Beretta was a good idea. I feel like, um, some of the ones that were more faithful, like the RPG, no problem with that. But yeah, then once in a while, there was some stuff that didn't quite remain that faithful. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make, I think, is... Even though this doesn't look like the original model, and it's like clearly a different kind of gun... I understand why they went this route with it, and I think it actually looks way better. Even if it's not, like, a one-to-one -one of the previous weapon. Sometimes, too, your brain just gets tricked into thinking a weapon is more powerful because it sounds more powerful or looks more powerful. And I feel like that's the case with this one. Hallowed health. Intoxicator. Oh, it looks awesome. Oh, it looks so good. GTA 6 quality alligator. The game doesn't take itself too seriously, I don't know if you can tell.
I would like to see the new weapon, but I don't really know where I can find it. It might be a later game thing. Double barrel shotgun is one of my favorite weapons in video games in general, just as a, like, kind of a, a weapon archetype. And... That includes Doom, Quake... But especially this game. Looks really good. Very satisfied weapon. Yeah, I can't, um, really get over the, the monitor mismatch, the, the fucking refresh rate mismatch. I can get over it, meaning, you know, I'm kind of just playing and ignoring it, but once in a while, once in a while I notice it. I don't know, it could be settings on my end. I mean, I don't know 100%. It doesn't seem like the frame rate options work, but it's okay. The portals work. He is pleased. Nice. So I should mention a couple things. I know I complain about frame rates a lot. The reason I do so is because I like smooth frame rates, <laughs> obviously. But I also, you know, I spent a lot of money on my computer, and NVIDIA was kind enough to hook me up with this card. Which, in the past, I've spent a lot of money on GPUs, so I know how expensive that shit is, and I count myself among the very, very, very lucky that they sent me a 3080. Yes, they did, by the way, for those that didn't know. It was, um, to promote the cyberpunk, um, visuals. Not even to promote Cyberpunk as a game, because God knows I ripped into that game when it came out. But just to show off how nice it looked, they sent me the 3080. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love this card so much. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I want to get the most out of my rig, and I want to make sure that things look nice and smooth, especially if a game has the potential to look that way. Like, if it's this cutting-edge next-gen game, that's a different story. I understand if it would struggle a little bit. And this isn't struggling, it's just, a, I think, a refresh rate mismatch. Anyway, the point is, I can also deal with Ocarina of Time, which has 20 FPS. Because once you start playing, you just get used to it, and that's just what the game looks like. The um, Ocarina Ship of Harkinian at 60 is incredible. And even the, um, the version of Ocarina on the 3DS at 30 is a noticeable improvement. But when I was younger, I just kind of got used to it. I can get used to it, but I also am aware that, you know, there are limitations that a lot of these games I grew up with had to deal with, especially on the N64. Tastes like sawdust, Uncle Walnut. <gasps> 
Anyway, I'm gonna check out an endless level now, just to see the rest of the weapons. And enemies. Um, if you haven't played Dusk, and you like this kind of game, you owe it to yourself to check this out. It's also on sale for like six bucks as of the time of this recording, which it, it might not be. I love that. I love that they explode into that. Um, it might not be by the time this is uploaded, so I hope people did manage to pick it up when it was like six or seven bucks, whatever it is. Maybe one of the best first-person shooters of this type on Steam, so, you know, check it out. You want to go the Half-Life 2 route and use, like, actual objects to pulp enemies, you can. Walnut. Walnut! You can do a direct comparison from one cathedral to the other. Oh, that looks... Looks great. There it is. Oh, yes. Bolt action. Such a good weapon, and it looks... it looks great. This is like, um... my favorite video game type of weapon, as many of you know. I want to uh, find that new weapon. I might, I might actually pause this real quick and see if there's a way to do that easily. Okay, I'm back. So I know where the weapon is. I'm gonna get it, but um, I'm just gonna play this for another couple minutes. I do have to go. Today is one of those uh, early me being busy days. But I knew I had to check this out. As soon as this was announced, I knew I was going to play it. Uh, oh, right, I forgot that happened. It's a super hot power up. So good.
Oh, these fellas. Oh, God. This, they're so fucking weird. They're even weirder now. There we go. Okay, so this weapon... Used to say, uh, the fart used to be the fart with reverb, if you remember correctly. Oh. Well, shit. Okay, well, everything I've seen so far looks really good. Um. So I'll show you. Uh. Riveter. The Riveter needed a facelift pretty desperately. Also looks good. Um, yeah. I know where the secret is. I don't know if I ever did the secret, ever. But it's one that was in the game already. What have I done? Oh, man. So this is- this is where the secret is. It's over here. Which, again, you're supposed to bring a barrel over there, but if you crouch jump onto it, it works. Somehow, I didn't see this earlier. But you go down this way, right? You get a riveter. Interesting. And there is a basketball over here. Right, so you take the basketball to... There's a hoop on the side of one of the houses. That happens, then this happens. Rachel's secret area. And here's the new weapon. Wow, there's that many fucking weapons down here this whole time? Damn, what a secret. This uses health. Apparently. So it looks like it's got a shotgun. Type of ability. It's really powerful, but it uses it, yeah, it uses your health, so you can't use it for everything. If you have full health, I believe this shoots beams like Zeld. into feathers. I love that. Just for a direct comparison, check this out. I'd say it's a pretty substantial upgrade. Sorry, you only had a couple seconds to, to see that, but here, just a little bit more extensive look. I mean, you know, the tree line, like all the, pretty much everything has got some form of, of upgrade. Um, the tractors look quite nice. Oh, right, the fart, the fart with reverb, I forgot that was still on. Oh, look at that. These are cheese proof. In the original.
Wow. So there you go, I found a thing. Which is that there's like a slight... ...incline on those things. Oops. That was an accident. Um... So there is like the the new models are like you can actually jump on them a little bit. Let the basketball go. It's down here. Just want to see uh, again for direct comparison purposes. Yeah. There's no altar. The arrows, the green arrows, look a little bit more peen. There's a little bit more panicular uh, thing happening here. But man, they give you a lot of weapons up front if you can find that secret, which I don't think I ever have. I want to hear them. Beautiful. Alright, so that's Dusk and Dusk HD with some, uh, obviously some modding. It's cool, it needs a little bit of work. It does need a little bit of work. Um, this is another one of those maps from Counter-Strike that's weird. That I covered earlier this year. I don't think the... Yeah, it works. It works. <gasps> Yep, look at that. This is also copyrighted stuff here, so I'm gonna go quick. Like Pink Floyd. There's, there's us and them playing right now. I'm gonna talk over it so you can't get claimed. But yes, this is Half-Life. Look, everybody, it's Half-Life. It's Half-Life, but it's also Counter-Strike, and it's also one of those weird maps. I'm gonna keep talking because I'm pretty sure this is gonna get claimed, but this was a good segment if you want to watch it. Watch um, Vinny and Mono or whoever covers the weird Counter-Strike maps from back in the day. Nipper is the name of the mapper. Yes, that is actually the name of the, the guy. N-I-P-P-E-R. You can watch them if you want. There's very interesting maps. It's a good segment. Uh, really good video. Lots of interesting things that you can see from the 90s and the early 2000s that might uh, inspire you. Or at the very least, you might uh, have a brain aneurysm from watching them. So, yeah, they're in dusk now. It's kind of weird, but I think it's kind of cool that you can do that. Idiots only, it says. The zoo of idiots. I'm now an idiot. Well, good place to end this. Thanks for watching. You know, I could kill another one minute and get a one hour long video. And no, that's not for ads or anything. Nothing changes, but I just want to get it to look nice. The number, one hour. Let's do it. <laughs>